Honorable Chairperson, uh, with your permission, uh, I would like to ask if it is imperative to stick to one language or I can also switch from Hindi to English conveniently. Do I have your permission? Honorable Chairperson, sir. Yes, please, please, please. No problem. Uh, I thank uh, Ashok Pandeji for giving me this opportunity. Khali kursiyo ko bhashan dene ka maza wo kya jane jo lunch se pehle bol kar chale gaya. But this is for the first time that even after lunch I see such a gracious gathering here. And this is because of the dynamic Sadbhavna uh, Seva uh, Samsthan and of course the even more dynamic Professor M. M. Varmaji. I thank him for inviting me and also representing the youth here. The moral of the story is, how can you have a religious gathering without a story? I mean, stories is something that builds us up. So let me start with a story. And I think in the nutshell that story will tell you what we need for transformation. How from a religious perspective we should look at the society. Once upon a time a man approaches a doctor with a very strange disorder. He goes to the doctor and says, dear doctor, everything hurts. Everything. My, I touch my head, it hurts. I touch my chest, it hurts. I, I touch my shoulder, it, it hurts. My stomach, my legs, everything hurts. The doctor is baffled. He's never seen a case like this. He says, I'll run some tests and you come to me tomorrow and I'll tell you what the problem is. The patient uh, comes the next day and ask the doctor, what's the problem? The doctor says, the problem is very simple. I have to give you two information. One is, uh, is very good, and the other is slightly bad. The good thing is, there's completely nothing wrong with your body. Everything is in its place. The slightly bad thing is, that your finger is broken. So whatever you touch, it hurts. You touch your head, it hurts. You touch your chest, it hurts. You touch your shoulder, it'll hurt. It might be a very nice jovial story, but it has a very deep message. The finger here represents the connection. And to all the people who believe that they leave the path of dharma, if your connection is broken, everything will hurt. Your social life will hurt, your personal life will hurt, everything will hurt. Har jage aapko kasht ho. Aur bain taha kasht ho. Sahu saab ka mene suna unho ne bataya ki is prakar se, how materialism is affecting our lives. It is true. When we say we are religious, are we really religious? Kya hum dharam ka palan kar rahe? कम से कम भारत जहाँ अपरिग्रह एक ऐसा सिद्धांत है, जिसके बिना जीवन जो है, वो अपूर्ण रह जाता है। क्या हम अपरिग्रह का पालन कर रहे हैं? Trust me and trust our our philosophy. If all of us follow the principles of अपरिग्रह, would there be social economic disparity in this nation? So, are we religious? Are we truly religious? Or are we just trapped in the prisons and the cages, demonic cages of identity and rituality? When I was doing my name of my name, I said to many people, you keep your name, you keep all religions dialogue. I said, I don't have to do religions dialogue. Sarv dharm samvad, क्योंकि धर्म से मेरा हमेशा से पर्याय रहा है आध्यात्मिकता से। For me, what connects religions is spirituality. Of course, spirituality is very important. But if I have to go to the crux of it, it is always spirituality. And all the spiritual principles are the same. Truth, love, 
justice, compassion, non-violence. Which religion will tell you not to follow that? So if you are following these spiritual principles, are you not living a multi-religious lifestyle? Am I not a true believer of Islam? Am I just a Hindu? So the first dialogue that has to take place has to take place today. And that is what we should reach out for. That is what, that is the connection that we should try and establish. I love reading, uh, I love reading Ken Bilba. And he says, the world is divided into four quarters, the intellectual world. I, it, we, it's, and he's right. Most of the intellectual debates do not transcend these barriers. Something that we can learn from, learn from India are feelings. Do unto others. So Do unto others what you expect them to do to you. We want to connect to the youth, but does the youth want to connect to us? It's not important if they connect to us or not. It's important if they connect to themselves and then lead their lives. Just, just go to a classroom. I'm, I'm not talking about how you bring harmony in, in, in the society. Just try and bring harmony in one human being. And very easy. Just go to a classroom, ask them to switch off their mobiles and get disconnected from the age of information. It is not the age of knowledge, my dear friends. It is not. Aaj kaafi speakers hain bola, aur kar bad prathana karke, mein hoon se, ye baat kehna chaata hoon, ke mein hoon se completely disagree karta hoon. This is not the age of knowledge. Bedo ke anusar, gyan ko teen chadon mein baata gaya hai. Suchna, information. Vivek, Wisdom. When you accept all the information and then on the test on the testament of your own vivek, of your own wisdom, you make it for yourself. Shruti and Smriti. This this philosophy, this perilous philosophy hasn't existed without Smriti. I mean, look at the most basic mantra, Gayatri mantra. Om Hurdhva Swa Tat Samitra Mai Atha Matla Nahi Mata Hoon, Sab Jaan Tehoon. Lekin Pahle Aapne Paramatama Ki Guno Ko Ke Baare Mata Hai. Or Phir Kya Bola? Vare Niyam As You Perceive Him To Be. Yani Mera Faith Hinduism Nahi Hai. Mera Jo Faith Hai, Woh Manuism Ho Sakta Hai. Bilal Saab Pait Hai, Unka Faith Bilalism Ho Sakta Hai. हम अगर अपने आप को एक फेथ में बांध देते हैं क्योंकि किसी ने बाली हाउ का रखे और किसी ने यहाँ पर तो हम किसके साथ धोखा कर रहे हैं दूसरे के साथ नहीं कर रहे हैं हम अपने आप के साथ कर रहे हैं इनफॉरमेशन विस्टम एंड व्हेन यू प्रोसेस द इनफॉरमेशन थ्रू योर विस्टम इट बिकम्स ज्ञान और न� I have two minutes, I'll quickly conclude. This was one thing, and from the youth I especially want to say something. The problem, one of the biggest problems of, of, an organ, of, of a seminar like this, we tend to become too negative. I mean like that, what a pessimistic environment. We still have lots of information. It's our role that will change the world. We all are born with the moral compass. Kisi ke text mein kuch likhao mein nahi कई बार मैं हिंदुस्तान पे लेक्चर दे रहा कई बार लोग मुझसे आके बोलते हैं राम ने नहीं गलत किया था आप क्या कहेंगे मैं बोलूँगा राम से आके पूछ मैं वो बताऊँगा जो मैं कर रहा हूँ ये मेरा धर्म मुझे कहता है so please always remember this thing the concept of avatar is all of you anybody who can pass through the process of the cleansing of his own chakra is an avatar so all of you are avatars please take it upon you to be the avatar of this generation and transformation will happen. Thank you.